has been a minute since I sat down to film and it feels so good. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new here, my name is Christina Kay and we took a little break from some Disney magic for a minute because I was so blessed to get invited to go to Jamaica and do my radio show live from there. All the Jamaica videos will be in the description box below, but we are back to the magic of Disney and we're going to kick off the Disney videos again today with some small shop finds. I wanted to do this one first because trust me I have a pile of hauls and giveaways and a lot of things going on but I want to start with this one because very very soon like less than a month soon I will be on another broadcast with Disney and you're smart I think you can fill in the blanks what it's for I can't legally say just yet but I feel like by the time this video goes out, it will kind of be announced. While I'm, when I'm filming it, it has not been, so we're not going to take the chance. But let's get to some small shop finds. We have apparel, accessories. I don't even remember everything because it was that long ago that I ordered stuff. I don't even remember what I got from this particular company. One of my favorite small shops on Etsy, Mouse Fitters. A lot of times when you see me wear ears and you guys comment on them. Where did I get them? It is from Mouse Fitters. So, all right, hasn't been open. None of this stuff has been open. So it's gonna be a surprise for both of us today. <laughs> I am wearing a shirt from my last Walt Disney World trip in February, which was also um, a broadcast. Disney invited me to go down um, to just check out the magic the week of my birthday. It was so fun. And we stayed at the boardwalk, which became one of my favorite resorts. Now, this next trip is not going to be the boardwalk, but it is going to be a crowd favorite. So stay tuned for that. Okay. Ooh, pretty tissue paper. It's like this light blue and it's kind of sparkly. I don't know if you could see that. It's like a robin's egg blue. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Just like, look at the ears. I love it. The first is actually a pair I already have, but my bow is getting kind of funky. So I wanted to make sure I secured another pair because I wear these all the time and you guys compliment them so much and ask where they're from. Mouse fitters. They're this black sparkly ear with a white velvet bow. Now, why do I love mouse fitters so much? The ears are comfortable. They also look good on me. And I feel like so many small shops have really big poofy bows. I love ears. Not all ears love me. I know that. I'm like doing a series on TikTok do these look good on me? <laughs> so um, I think these should because I have a pair already. The bow looks a little longer on this pair though, but um, I think they're still going to be great. And they're such a classic pair. I wore these a lot on my last trip. Here's a newer shade for me. I think it was a navy. Oh my God. It's so, so pretty. Or maybe it was like a midnight blue. It's like a darker blue. Do you see? I don't even think the camera is doing it justice, quite honestly. Oh my gosh. I love how sparkly the ears are. So cute. We got to put them on even though they do not go with what I'm wearing at all. See like they're just a normal size ear and I know they're going to look good on no matter what color. Oh and they're so comfortable. I just I really really love Mouse Fitter's ears. My gosh I am so excited about this pair too. This is like a gunmetal silver. Oh my gosh it's darker than the silver pair I have from the parks which I think was the magic mirror one but this is like a gunmetal silver. Oh this is gonna go with so much and again that sparkle. They're just simple classic ears, staple ears that will go with anything. <gasps> this is a strictly gold gold. Oh my gosh look at that sparkle this is gonna be a good I feel holiday pair even beautiful I did order a holiday pair from her and she didn't have the fabric for the bow anymore so I just said you know what I will get it closer to but I had to get these this might be coming on that upcoming trip with me it's like this aqua it's not like an Arendelle aqua it's more of a teal aqua but look at like the different colors you pick up with that shine. A little purple there. So gorgeous. And I feel like they came out with this color recently in the parks, but I didn't love the ears. The bows have just not been working for me in the parks lately. But yes, this is this is a go for sure. I say that about the park ears, but I feel like I have like two pairs waiting for a haul. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, so those are the gorgeous ears from Mouse Fitters. I will leave um, her shop info in the description box below. The time I'm filming this, her shop is currently closed, which is making me anxious because I really, there's a, there's a pair or two that I know she has in her shop that I really need for that upcoming trip. <laughs> 
Okay, we have another little box here. Wait, is this from a small shop? Oh, no, no, no. This was sent to me by someone. Okay, wait, no. We have to, we have to hold that. That might be for a future video. Oh, yes. Another favorite small shop. When I went on that broadcast in February, um, I, I like to wear skirts when I go and do my radio shows because I just feel like they're a little bit more professional and I'm there for work. So I want to like look put together instead of just wearing shorts. And I have been loving the skirts from Kate's Magical Apparel. Both skirts, I think. Yes. Both the Valentine's Day skirt and the all over character one that I wore on the last Disney World trip were from this shop and they just fit so nicely that I got two more and honestly I think tonight I'm gonna be ordering more. <laughs> not gonna lie because their skirts are that good yes okay I'm not saying that I'm going there this year but I am manifesting it um I have been lucky enough to go to Outlawney the past couple of years and Lilo and Stitch is a big part of that resort but look at this skirt she had so many really cool Lilo and Stitch ones but I love this for so many reasons. It had both Lilo and Stitch, the ice cream, and also, if you've watched the Aulani vlogs from last year, the ukulele. Um, they gave us one, Southwest, when we went there. And it was such a moment. And yes, I love this all so very much. So very nice skirt. I feel like the material of this is a little different than... Oh, maybe it's the same. I have such a long, I mean, it was February, but it feels like such a long time ago. So we have this really pretty Lilo and Stitch. Ooh, this kind of goes. Some of those color ears that I just got kind of go. Yeah, but when I go to Aulani, I like to wear the Aulani ears because it's really the only place I feel like I can wear those. Oh my God, this is so cute. The skirts were very comfortable. The only thing is that they don't have pockets. So, you know, you got to hold your phone and stuff, but it's really not the worst thing in the world. And then I also got this one. I don't know. There was just something drawing me to this skirt. I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but hopefully soon. I do have, actually, it's right behind the phone where I'm filming. I do have a, a t-shirt that goes with it and a pair of shoes. So I think that's kind of why I was drawn to it. But it's Tinkerbell. Look at the colors. I just thought this was really, really cool. It's got all these like different fabrics of Tink behind the animation of Tink. Like so cool. Her autographs on there. I thought that was very different. So I feel like I'll show you the shirt. It's in this pile. This shirt from the t-shirt wall, I feel like could be really cute with that. Yeah. And I have Tinkerbell shoes from Tilly's. Is that the name of the store? I think it's Tilly's. Hmm. I will leave my shoe collection video that probably has that pair of shoes in it um, down below. But yeah, so, so cute, the skirt. But there's a couple of more that I got in my cart that I might be needing soon. Not, you know, not needing, but like needing. <laughs> I don't even remember what shirts these are, but they're from another favorite Etsy shop. Again, all these shops going to be in the description box below. Bebop tees. I love Bebop tees. I feel like sometimes not all the time, but sometimes when you order t-shirts on Etsy, they look very small shop e, and like the quality is not the best, but I've never experienced that with Bebop tees. I need this scissor. Where's the scissor? I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on it. That can't be good. Um, yeah, I just really love their quality and they're very comfortable. I did wear a shirt from Bebop tees in February with one of the skirts. And I think both shirts I wore in August on the broadcast were also from Bebop Tees. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. This is a sweatshirt? Y'all, I do not remember this at all. But I do have a really cool Christmas um, sweatshirt from them. Okay. The very first Disney resort I ever stayed at was Disney's Contemporary Resort back in 1991. And they had this very specific shirt that there is a picture of me, my sister, and my dad. And he has the adult one, obviously. I was not an adult back then. I was two. Um, and we had these shirts. And clearly, they don't fit anymore. But I love that Bebop had the pattern. And now you can put it on stuff that you can wear today. You guys. Amazing. Disney's Contemporary Resort. Walt Disney World. Goofy's driving the monorail. Monorails and Goofy. Two of my favorite things in the world. I am so excited about this sweatshirt. Now on the t-shirt on the back, it has Donald and Daisy 
on the back of um, the monorail, which I, do I have the shirt? I might have the t-shirt actually from Bebop Tees with that on it, or maybe Station 71. Sometimes they have similar designs, but um, yeah, no, this is incredible. I got this oversized because I feel like this could be a really cute, like travel sweatshirt with like a pair of yoga pants. Oh my gosh. I, I love it so much. Nostalgic. Disney 90s vibes all the way very here for it and you could pick what color with their t-shirts and crew necks and stuff or I think they have tank tops too what color you want on most of them and I went with that like tan color because I, I don't know why I went with it but I liked it and I'm glad I did <laughs> I think I got some t-shirts too from Bebop Tea this is a different uh package I really couldn't tell you what I got I feel like blue and gray oh yeah oh my gosh I think one of these is in my cart currently so I'm gonna have to take that oh my god they're all oh my god. Like, that's so funny I must really like them because they're all in my cart um yes okay wow this I got this a little too big it's okay I'd rather be big than small so usually I'm a medium with them but sometimes I like to order a large just because like in the summer months when you're down there you need like breathing room and you feel like the shirts could stick to you and your sweat so you know so I got this gray color jungle cruise tea look at that my man goofy again says walt disney world so cute i just thought this gave me like some retro vibes as well maybe i'll have to bring it on this trip that's so cute i feel like it would go nicely with these ears yeah very very cute love the hippos i remember thinking they were real as a kid and being scared every time so cute and then speaking of the 90s it was mgm studios which happy 35th to mgm so i got the mgm studios shirt with the mickeys i have quite a few mgm studios from bebop tees like i have a backlot tour one but this one was cool with the clapboard and action and the director seat and i love this blue very good quality they're bella and canvas tees which are probably my favorite that small shops offer because they're just lighter and comfortable Got this oversized too, didn't I? Yeah, I sure did. Oh, maybe I'll bring this one on this trip. Wow, this looks huge. Yeah, I shouldn't have gotten them so oversized. You live and you learn. And then I got, yes, a sweatshirt. Another one. I, have yeah, I don't even have to explain this one again, nostalgia, but you know, figment with the Epcot logo. So cool. I wish I had had this um, sweatshirt when I went down in February because I had a whole figment outfit. And I do have figment lounge fly. So on one of the upcoming trips where it's a little bit colder, um, I will not upcoming. That's not gonna be colder there anytime soon. Probably next like January, February, I will bring this baby down. So cute. I love Epcot. And I love um, how like that time of year when they have Festival of the Arts, Figment is the mascot. So I like to wear even more Figment. So cute. I probably will wear this guy back home too because it's so great. Yay, Bebop Tees. I totally forgot about that. So I really thought I had more small shop finds, but I don't. But I will have more coming soon before my upcoming trip, which I am so excited to be able to talk to you about, but I can't just yet. So stay tuned and stay tuned for more, more hauls. Um, and I have a giveaway coming up soon. I don't know when I'm going to do that just yet, but you will have to be a subscriber. So make sure you're subscribed so you can partake in that. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And for your patience, I know it's been a minute since I've really uploaded and done videos. There's been a lot going on. Um, but I thank you to everyone who's reached out over on Instagram for well wishes and just to check in. Um, it means a lot, but I'm, I'm doing okay. We're hanging in there and we've got a lot of fun coming really, really soon. I'll like pinch myself kind of fun. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you were doing well and I'll talk to you really soon. I am Christina Kay. Have a Disney day. Also in the comments below, let me know what's your favorite small shop or do you have a small shop? I would love to check it out. Always looking for unique and fun Disney finds.